welcome to the video. Wow, it's been a really long time since I've said that. I hope you guys are all doing well. But as I introduce you into today's vlog, I have some speed paints going in the background of some stickers that I made for this video. Basically, today I'm going to be taking you all with me through the process of prepping for my very first craft fair. This has been on my bucket list for so long. I've seen a lot of artists make vlogs like this, getting ready for selling their art in person, and I was so inspired, so I'm really excited to bring you along with me but make sure to stay tuned for the end to see all the products i made and my final booth because i didn't film every single thing there are a lot of things that i'm really proud of that you guys won't see until the end but yeah i'm gonna leave you guys here to listen to some music and watch me make some cute stuff <laughs> oh also by the time that you guys are gonna be seeing this my etsy shop is going to be completely restocked make sure to go check out at saz crafts before leaving this video for some new fun little goodies and for some products that you guys have never seen before on my shop. But yeah, now I will leave you guys alone. <laughs> guys yesterday i went to the store and oh i'm bleeding what the heck i came back from the store and i picked up a ton of stuff more art supplies and things for my display so i'm gonna do a bit of a haul with you guys so first off i got some canvas tote bags they're really nice and perfect for painting along with that i also got these little pouches with a zipper Next up, <laughs> so I got these Ziploc baggies. These are what I use for putting my stickers in. Smaller ones, which is where I put my little charms in. Then I got some fabric paint. And then lastly, I got these multi-use labels, which I'm gonna use for my prices. I do have this little chalkboard, which I'm gonna use as a price list, but some of my things are going to be individually priced with these labels. And now it's time for the stuff that I got from display. I got a lot of stuff because Everything was 75% off at Hobby Lobby, like what a dream. I'm probably just going to put some of my charms in here. And then I also got this cute little, oh my gosh, I need to stop saying cute little. I got this thing <laughs> a wood table looking thing and i could just put things on here i want to make sure that my display has different height variation since my products are all decently colorful i think i'm going for a more neutral kind of display and lastly i got these little thingies okay so these are one of my favorite purchases of the day because they spin. How cool is that? I'm going to be painting this black part here white because I just don't like the black and it just doesn't really match with the aesthetic that I'm going for. But other than that, these are perfect. I don't know what I'm going to put on here yet, but I know they're just going to make my booth so much better. I already put the tote bags away, but yeah, this is it. I'm really excited to get going. Thanks for coming with me on this haul. Hand motions.
guys, I feel like I haven't really caught up with you real time in a while, but I did want to pop up to just catch up with you guys. It is currently the 16th, so the fair is next week, and I'm like really, really scared. Okay, like I'm really worried about it. Anyway, I'm cutting out some stickers right now. I really want to get just like a ton of stickers because I feel like stickers might do good because, you know, like they're cheap and like you could do whatever you want with stickers. So right now I'm cutting these cat on cake stickers. I also have some little little shaka surfing stickers. I'm really excited to cut these out. I have a ton of designs that I actually have already done. I just need to print out. So yeah, I've really got to get working like crazy this weekend because I started school two weeks ago. So it's just been like kind of crazy ever since. That's pretty much what's going on with me. But yeah, I just wanted to check up on you guys. I'm really excited. I am going to vlog a little bit the day of. So perfect timing. I finished the last of the cats. I did a ton. Again, like I said off camera I don't like film everything because this video can't be 30 minutes long but anyway I will see you guys face soon. reveal just kidding no we're not doing that hello guys I am outside but we set up the tent and we're gonna do like a mock setup right now it is currently Sunday the 17? I'm not sure what the date is. But anyway, <laughs> ignore the van in the background but this is just where we're doing it in the front of our yard. Oh my gosh I think I just heard someone Guys, my neighbor walked by and said hi to me and I'm pretty sure they heard me filming. I literally want to die of embarrassment. Also, socks. voice over me. Anyway, thankfully my dad actually took some short videos and photos while we were there at the fair. So I'm just going to quickly sum up my day and talk about how the fair went. First of all, the place where the fair was was super cute. It was right next to a church and it was, it was so nice. And it was also a gorgeous day. So it just worked out amazingly. As for my products, they actually did pretty good. Honestly, way better than I thought they would. I'm not saying this to brag. I'm just, I'm happy with how it went. I also met just amazing people and other other fellow artists around me who were absolutely killing it and their work was just incredible. I highly recommend if you're an artist to participate in something like this because honestly it was just an incredible experience and I can't wait to do it all over again. But before you leave, I just want to take a quick second to talk about Kawaii Pen Shop. Kawaii Pen Shop is a really awesome small company who sells all kinds of things, all kinds of stationery, stickers, keychains. Aside from the absolutely adorable stationery, their art supplies also really caught my eye because they have a lot of major brands on their company that you can purchase for yourself. And it's also really cool because since they run sales, other companies selling those art supplies may not have those sales. So it's also just a really great place to buy art supplies. They have really major brands such as Copix, Zebra, even Microns. I use a lot of the art supplies in their company in majority of my videos, so I highly recommend that you go check out Kawaii Pen Shop. Click the link down below in the description and check out their stuff. If you would like to get 10% off your next purchase on Kawaii Pen Shop, use Sazart10 as your discount code when checking out. Now, I will leave you guys be. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time for another video. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you.